everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a plant spray. On this channel I actually have a video already on how to make a plant spray but that was more focused on how I DIY this full spray bottle setup and like the labels. If you're interested in that then I will link it at the top. I have been getting questions anyways on plant spray so I figured I would just make a more focused video on the plant spray itself. All of the ingredients that you'll need are neem oil but you can get this at any garden center big box store i got this from home depot but i'll try to find it online and link it down below and the next ingredient is some castor soap so this is dr bronner's castle soap and this has a ton of uses so if you've been following me for a while you probably know i use this for like hand soap around my house and also to clean makeup brushes and stuff like that this you can get in a lot of places as well i think like target whole foods Trader Joe's, but I'll find it online and I'll link that down below if I can. And then water, but I have the sink here for that. And this is optional, but it helps with the neem oil smell. So neem oil smells really, really strong. This is some peppermint essential oil, and that can actually help deter some pests too. There's still a little bit left at the bottom, but I'll just add more as if there is none in there. And so what I'm gonna do is shake up this neem oil. I really just eyeball everything. I don't really measure. So what I'm gonna do, I hope you can actually see it. It's kind of see-through. So I'm just gonna pour a little bit in. Next, I'm gonna do some pastel soap. It doesn't matter which scent you end up using. Uh, this is the peppermint one, but in the past I used eucalyptus and it all works the same. I'm, I'm just gonna pour some in here as well. And now with the peppermint essential oil, I'll put like two, three, four, five drops in there. I think that was five. Mix that around a little bit and then I'm gonna fill the rest up with water, just up to there. Filled it up, up to here, and this is a 16 ounce bottle. It's a kombucha bottle. I'm gonna shake it up. When I use it, I shake it up beforehand too just to make sure that it's well mixed. And I just spray down the entire plant until it is dripping from the leaves. So I spray down the fronts of the leaves, the backs of the leaves, and then I even spray the soil. Once I'm done spraying down the plant, I wait about 15-ish minutes. Again, that's another guesstimation. I don't set a timer or anything. But during this time, I make sure to keep the plant out of a direct sunlight because it will part scorch your plant if you have it drenched in the solution. So I keep out of the sun and then I start wiping it down. This is a microfiber cloth. I just make sure to get it nice and dry and then I put it back in its original spot after that. This spray can be used for pest prevention and it can also be used to get rid of pests. When I had all my plants in soil still, I had spider mites on my Ficus Elastica Burgundy and I use this, I believe every week or every few days until the spider mites eventually were all gone and it took care of it and then after that I just kept spraying this down like every time I watered the plant. I haven't had spider mites again since then but then also I did switch to some of my hydroponics. My only plant now that is in soil is my large variegated monstera and every single time I water the plant I spray it down with this as well. Yeah this is just my go-to plant spray. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. Bye!